Alhamdulillah, I see before me four classes at Zaytuna College, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. This is not just your milestone, this is a milestone for American Muslims as a collective national community. <laughs> this place, Zaytuna College, being here, this is a truly unique place to study Islam in college because Zaytuna is the only Islamic liberal arts college. What I'm excited to see is what a critical engagement with the tradition looks like at a Muslim liberal arts college. You know, I know what it looks like in a secular setting. I know what, it, and I know what critical engage, I know that critical engagement is missing in a lot of mosques. So this, Zaytuna College, this place, is not a place where American Muslims are hiding from the world in retreat. This is a place where American Muslims are being prepared to engage in the world around them. Okay. There are those who actually think that this type of education is a luxury. And for those people, I would say it's not a luxury, it's a necessity. And the reason that it's a necessity is that people who live in a community are multidimensional. They are moral agents. Their actions have repercussions. But they are also intellectual beings. Their thoughts have realities. And then they're also spiritual beings. If people are not trained to work with these three aspects of the human being, then what follows is immense discord. We've lost a sense of what the purpose of a college is, what it's there to do. A student now goes and he's given a brochure that begins with anthropology and ends with zoology, and he's told to pick his way. There's no direction. We don't direct our youth anymore. And we wonder why the youth are in such rebellion. If you don't give youth direction, they, they lose their way. They need the direction of the shiuch, of the elders. Our prophet, peace be upon him, said, he's not among us who does not respect the elders and who does not have compassion for the youth. And this is what this education is about. It's about turning that heart around. Some one of you out there is going to work on the problem of homelessness in Berkeley or in your hometown city. Some one of you out there is going to find a solution to a pressing problem, problems of addiction, problems of poverty. You're not here just to read books and learn the tradition, but to bring that tradition alive in the world because what we're here for is just one thing. And that is to serve God through working for the good of our fellow human beings. For in the end, to be a good Muslim is simply to be a good human being and to serve humbly, teach humbly, and struggle humbly in the world at large, not just our community, the world at large. And I say, and these are the days of Martin Luther King, 50 years, he was called a radical. Jesus was called a radical. Moses was called a radical by a pharaoh. If you are for change, expect the status quo to call you, for, to call you radical. Unless you want to sell a car, they'll give you a radical new car. Or a shampoo, a radical new shampoo. Or a dress, a radical new dress. If you are for the show, then accept to be radical in this. But if you're for real serious change, and change begins in education, then be ready to be called radical. And radicalism in the face of vice and injustice is a virtue. I say to all of the young, beautiful seekers in whose names we have gathered this evening, who have entrusted Zaytuna College with their future, you are, in a sense, the fulfillment 
of Dr. King's dreams. For you sit together in the truest sense of the word at the table of brotherhood and sisterhood. No, as a nation, we have not created, nor will we ever constitute a perfect union. However, if you develop your minds and cultivate and sharpen your moral faculties in the four years ahead of you, if you can do that, if you dedicate yourself to a life of good, you can help if even in seemingly imperceptible ways to help to move our nation towards a future, in fact, our world, towards a future where hope will still find a home in human hearts. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, we thank you for the great blessings that we enjoy. And we pray that we can pass this heritage rooted in faith, rooted in community, rooted in love. May we pass this trust on to generations yet unborn 